Oh, good evening. How's Wonky here? I'm with a little woman. What's your uh, name? I, my name is probably you. Probably. Sometimes I think Dorothy. You know, <laughs> she, she sometimes goes by the name Dorothy. Sometimes Yoko. That's why I'm total. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Well, people call her Yoko. Anyway, where are we going? Megano. Good. Hmm. She usually says Mitagon. Yeah. She confuses Megalon and Mitagon. Mitagon is more cute <laughs> than Megalon. You know? Really? Yeah, Megalon like a like a bomb. Oh. Megalon. I like Megalon myself. Really? We're approaching uh, Blackheath. Blackheath, welcome to Blackheath. Welcome to Blackheath. Yes. We're now going to cross the railway line, mm -hmm. defying death. Mm -hmm. We're defying death. Defying death. Defying. Defying. Do you know what that means? No. Right. It means. Uh, train wants to kill us. Mm. We refuse. Mm. We defy it. Because of... Because of... <laughs> Is there some, some clothes? Yeah. yeah, it's got boom gates. Mm. It's a fully boom gated and signalled crossing. Mm. I would never trust the lights though. Yeah, a lot so. of people just drive across level crossings particularly out on out in the uh, country, but I always slow down and check for trains. Look at that, they're doing a bit of landscaping there. Alright, here we enter the, the wilderness, eight kilometres to the tea rooms. Mm -hmm. guy there, he owns this place. That's, that's Simon. He's the owner. We know him. Yeah, we know him from, uh, from earlier. <laughs> Give me money. Money? Because I am a mother of you. <laughs> well, we've just uh, left the Megalon Tea Rooms and uh, Yuko made the observation that all the staff there mm. were male. Yeah. Which is different from last time. I mean, there was some mm. female staff there. Last <laughs> yeah, time. that's right. There was a, a Japanese. Yeah. Actually. That, that's the woman. Quite clever, you know. Anyway, what do you think about that? All male. Yeah, I, I prefer, you know, very simple, you know. Right, why is that? Sometimes young women are foolish right. and no pants. Mm -hmm. Short skirt but no pants. So men like it. <laughs> that, I, I haven't seen that situation really? in a restaurant really? myself. No, no pan restaurant in Japan. Oh, in Japan they have that? Mm. No pants. Right. Mm. So what happens? Men. And normally don't care about the taste or price. Just young girl who is no pet don't wear pants, just short skirt. <laughs> but so price, that, price is very expensive and right. 
food is very bad, but still very popular, but only men. Right. How disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah. favor of uh, mm. gender equality in the staffing of restaurants. Mm. So that means equal. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, but um, normally you men are very foolish. For example, my favorite meat shop, very foolish women staff. And <laughs> last time I asked her to have 200 and after that, she said she pick up and she can't pick up 200. And she said 300 is alright. I said 200 grams, you know, 10, 10 gram different is alright. Mm. 300 and 200 quite big. It's a big difference. Big difference, yeah. So I don't like it. I, once I told her, I told her. And so you, you think uh, mm. the men are better? Yeah, more serious. You're yeah. sexist. No, it's a general idea. Because that meat shop owner's fault just see higher men because of young and cute. <laughs> she, he doesn't care. He, knowledge or right. manner or customers or something, you know. It's a controversial mm. statement. Mm. You're very controversial, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not controversial. I'm <laughs> <laughs> quite a general idea, you know. Well, there you have it. Mm -hmm. Not controversial.